Hi, I'm Joe from Dust Palace. This is my studio based in the UK. Um, we can see we've got a console and we've got a whole wall over here of outboard effects, analog and digital. And this is what I've used to process the dusted sample pack. And the guys asked me to take apart their, all their sample library packs and find stuff that I liked and to add my flavor to it. The starting point really was to take as many sounds as I, I could from the drum sample shop packs and build from there beats one to ten all different kind of flavors you could start with that or you could actually if you like it but you want to loop it and uh, sort of create more bars with that loop more variations then within the folders for each beat you'll see there are isolated parts kicks snares percussive things and the deeper than that one shots and in there as well I took a kick snare and toms from one of the guys packs and sort of very speed pitched it through a task cam tape machine so more same sample a different pitch layers on tape and back that's a dust palace vibe speed one dirty toms is like what i called it if that makes sense You get the idea, these things build and evolve. Lame Gazelle. You get the idea. B3, jump in the pool. This is my Lindrum, called the Afro Lin. Beat six, control. Seven, wonky machines, I like this one. North Ancastrian. B9 cassette. We'll come back to this in a minute. B10. Sick and destroyed. So all those beats are made up of lots of different layers. Basically, a lot of analog drum machines are in there. The Lindrum, the Roland TR-606, the 626. A lot of percussion, congas and shakers come from the 626. The 707, um, kick and snare mainly. Uh, 808, um, if the Dust Palace, the 808s for days in the Dust Palace. So there's, I've used a, a bunch of 808s that I haven't used anywhere else. Um, all of this pack. There are the, what else have forgotten there? There are some old school beatboxes from a Dust Palace pack, which isn't out yet. 
Um, mainly, what is that on there? It's like the CR78 and the Rhythm 330, the old roll and beatbox, and the Yamaha Ensemble mixer with a little beatbox in there. That's, there's some more stuff coming at a later date with, with dust pallets, but a lot of beatboxes on there too. And really, just had fun with them. Manipulated every single sound from Drum Ensemble Shop, reamped it through everything you see over here, so space echoes and springs. PA mixer to add crunch, task cam tape onto cassette. Uh, there's a TAC 4 track quarter inch tape back there, um, which a lot of stuff's gone through that as well. Some guitar pedals. So all the nice pretty drum sample shop sounds just taken, manipulated, affected, and created into new beats. And those beats then pulled apart with layers for you to use on your productions. Most things are split into, in stems wise, kicks, snares, hats, percussion loops. Create lots of variations just by muting and muting the parts that make up each beat. That loop is made up of some bongos, um, a hand drum that I found in a souk in Morocco, some room mics, and then played, and then back through my tape machine. With some rim clicks on snares, like a field drum, um, maybe a floor tom as well, hard left and right. This hat stereo track is made up of, I think, three or four different patterns. There's an 808 hi-hat pattern, and then left and right are different variations because they've reamped the, this mono 808 hi-hat track back through my space echo, the RE201, and done two different performances, play with the intensity and the repeat rate. So left and right sound slightly different. Sounds like the pioneer. That's one of my kick drums. A shaker. You can hear it modulate. That's because it's going through the what's that going through the Roland DC thirty, the analog chorus. Gives it an interesting flavour. We've also got in the in the kick, we've got the cassette kick plus four. 808 pitched through my PA-18, which is a PA mixer, I think from the 70s or 80s. Roll did a whole bunch of them like that. And they have an attenuation control of the input gain. And when you crank it, it distorts this really, I think a really nice harmonic distortion. Harmonic distortion, easy for me to say. And inside the box as well, there was a, a a spring reverb built in. I believe the same springs are kind of around the uh, RE201 vibes. Which is cool. And that is beat nine pulled apart, as well as you have the loops in beat nine and all the beats you have the one shots that go with it. Um, and loads more of extra bits of fun stuff we put in there as well. There are hundreds of different sounds and loops. Hopefully there's enough here for you to start creating with, um, approaching your drum samples, your drum sample shop samples and loops in a slightly different way, using the jumping off point for creating beats, for writing with, producing with, and dropping some of these one shots in your productions as well in the conventional way with the drum sum, sample shop one shots. So yeah, Joe from Dust Palace, hope you uh, are into this pack and would love to hear whatever you come up with with the sounds.